Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're going to talk about and our first look into Zorin Linux OS 17. This just launched uh, several weeks ago and of course uh, it was a holiday and I haven't uh, checked this one out for about like how many years? Uh, maybe one and a half so anyway uh let's try to see the layout of this zorin os and it feels like a windows <laughs> but of course we also have the option to make it like a different atmosphere let's try to see the zorin appearance so this is the Zorin appearance and you have a choice with four options right here and at the same time you can get more if you bought the pro version which is a little bit like uh, less than $50. But let's stick with this one. We have this one. Let's click that one. It feels and looks like the same, right? How about this one? It feels like a Chrome OS and this one is the GNOME. So let's try to see the themes. Okay, so we have the light, the settings of what time is it. So you have the manual and the sunrise and sunset settings. And at the same time we have the total dark theme which is I prefer the dark because it gives you the eye strain. You also have the able of the animation which is alright. How about the jelly mode? I love the jelly mode. Yeah, I prefer the jelly mode. The wobbly thing. You can also turn on the switch of this 3D. So you have also the settings right here for your 3D animation cube. So as you can see right here, if we scroll into this different themes of the layout of this free version of the Zorin 17 OS, you have a choice of making it like looks like, but if you pay, there's a lot more. And this is not a heavily type uh, of payment. It's just only for the developers that develops this different types of theme so that it will work properly. Not like the windows that they let you pay for the OS and the application. This one is just only for the developers on their layout appearance and work properly. So you have still the options to use this as whatever you want and it is open source. So let's try to see the layout first. Like let's go to this one. So this is the Windows theme and as you can see you still have the start menu or the application so you, as you can see it is still the same you also have the quick launch right here firefox web browser the file manager the software center and the appearance right here and on the lower right, you have the notification area. So the notification area has still has the volume, the balance power, the light mode, dark mode, the internet connection, the screenshot, and of course, you have all the settings and the power option you also have the language so it just came with english so you can add more if you want to and you have the time and date 
you also have the background right here let's minimize this one first you have the background so right click on it and change the background if you wanted to so it has a different types of layouts of your background so the graphic user interface is very likely the same with the windows so you also have this one cool and of course different types of layouts right here you can choose I think I prefer like this one but for the sake for our video let's use the Zorin as the background so on the settings we have all the options right here from the internet to the Bluetooth to the notification area for this one so you can also don't disturb as right there if you want to don't disturb it so if it turns off it will disappear at the same time multitasking search application privacy and so on even the sounds and power display and all those stuff right here so let's try to see what is my system yes so Zorin comes with with X11 windowing system and it is upgradable if you wanted to update your system software pipe wire for their graphics and I gave this computer only like 8 gigabytes of random access memory but you can also use only like 2 gigabytes of random access memory which is very uh, very low spec for this uh, type of operating system and as you can see my computer processor is an AMD Ryzen 7 with 5700U in the uh, with the Radeon graphics and with 16 threads and I gave this only like for 40 gigabytes so in this particular desktop layout it has the start menu or the application right here the quick launch applications right here and the notification and of course you can also put the icons of your application like for example I want to use a text or open a document so the application is also available let's zoom this one so that you could see so it feels like a windows there's nothing like a hard type of application of course they only say that one because they are like marketing their other application so even the slideshow presentation the impress you have all of this stuff hmm how about if I change the theme back to the light Ooh, okay so let's just use this one you have also the templates right here so let's try to click that one I want this one let's open for demonstration purposes so it feels and the same with the windows cool so let's close this one so we also have to look into what 
are the software that we have so let me let me show you the difference if I click this one so I think we will be using this one so that it will be much bigger so you have different types of default application and it has a ton of programs you have the system monitor G parted for the partition you have the LibreOffice like the calc for the spreadsheet draw for your uh, publication impress for your presentation and writer for your documents you have also some of this like the rhythm box for your audio player we have the software and updates right here sound recording show app application tour oh they have a tour at the same time going back to the uh, first page I forgot they have also the Zorin video player and the photo which is your webcam so boot repair at the same time right here so if you have some problems with your boot just click on that one so let's try to check out the software center so you can install and uninstall in this particular software center so right here we have the installed and you can uninstall it but if you want to add just click on this one as you can see the Microsoft 360 is also here if you are missing your Microsoft 360 software this is for the Linux that you can use even the screenshot is available so that you could see that everything is available right here so you have the installed right here so it is available in snap version so you can install and uninstall it and if you want to download some other application just look for it just go to this search application for example we will try to look for let me see how about a VLC so we just type VLC and then click so we have the VLC right here and it has available in flat version and the APT version you have the two option to download it so let's try to download this one for the sake of demonstration so it is available right now and let's open this one yes continue so we have the VLC player already so it is ready to play whatever you want right here so cool how about uninstalling it so let's uninstall this one just clicking the uninstall icon keep the contents or completely delete the this space so I'm just gonna clip the contents so there you have it so easy right how about let's look for Google Earth so we have Google Earth right here let's click that one it is available in flat packs application so 
it only has this one so let's try to download this one is a little bit like bigger all right so instead of like clicking the open let's go to the application so let's go to the start menu let's look for google earth so we open it by clicking the application of course we have the start up tips right here okay i will not sign uh, in yet so as you can see it is the same right hmm I'm here in Konken, so let's zoom in Konken. So the Konken International Airport is here. It's away from the city. The main city is actually right here. So as you can see, this is the city pillar area. The Central Plaza Mall is over here. We have also the Ferry Plaza. So this is the City Marker. How about let's drop the City Marker Street View. Let's try to see. Okay. So as you can see, there you have it. The city shrine. So let's try to uninstall this one. So we're just gonna click uninstall to demonstrate. So there you have it. It's easy to uninstall and install. As you can see, there is no Google Earth application already. okay so I think I cover everything already if you are uh, having some problem just uh, let me know if you try to test it dry run it on your virtual machine if not just uh, use it via the USB and it will run <laughs> yep Linux can run only with the USB not on the hard disk option that is your option but if you want to install it you can also install it on your hard disk drive or in your SSD on your solid-state drive so let's try to go to the website. I haven't shown you the website yet. So let's go to the Zorin. This is the website Zorin.com. So new version is available and arrived. You can download it. Just click download. You have the options right here for the pro. As I said, it is less than $50. And you have the free options, the light and the core. I have the core right now, the basic use. You have also the option for the school right here. So just click that one. In the education, you have Zorin OS 16.3 and it is also available in the next few days or weeks it will available for Zorin 17 education OS so in your education you have all the educational tool that you need from the kids until the adults no worries this is absolutely for free they have also comes with the laptop 
installed already so you can buy it just click on this one so as you can see the laptop is a little bit like less than a thousand some of them are for example this one it has the high end you can choose from i5 and i7 and i9 so a little bit pricey but it has already a pre-installed Zorin OS on this laptop so if you want to buy a Linux laptop just click on this one and it is also available with the Star Labs so it is also available with the Zorin grid so you can have a multiple computer for your school business and organization at the same time just click on this one so it is for free you have absolute control on your application and your computer on the bottom you also have the help right here so you can ask for help how to install the Zorin system requirements and switch your organization if you want to so as you can see right here in system requirements it's just only requiring for one gigahertz dual core either in Intel or an AMD 64-bit processor CPU that central processing unit and the random access memory is just requiring one and a half gigabytes and the storage requires only for the core of 15 gig for education 24 and for pro 40 gig well Zorin OS 17 is very easy to use it is not too hard so conclusion on this it's very easy to install very easy to uh, use it's basically like a Mac Windows hybrid thing and the learning curve is very minimum just like when you start with your new cell phone or tablet devices so it is very minimum so if you have some question feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below so this was zorin os 17. this is blair saying bye for now and see you in the next os operating system and remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool Bye and Happy New Year. Ciao.